Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then please subscribe it and hit the bell icon. If you have already subscribed my channel, I'm very pleased to know that. And in my today's lesson, I'll be taking a poem, okay, that is The Night of the Scorpion written by Nisam Izukal. So uh, let's delve into the video without any further delay. So in this poem, the poet basically tries to give a message. The message that the poet tries to give is that number one is... The number of message that, that the poet wants to give is that it shows the rural India, <clears throat> the concept or the perceptions the rural Indian society had back then. And the number second message that the poet tries to give is that it shows the universal love of a mother's mother love is incomparable. Okay, it is unconditional, incomparable. Whether you live in Australia, Canada, USA, India, motherhood always remain the same and no one can replace them it shows that and it also shows that a mother she never wants to see their child suffering it shows that so without any further delay let's delve into the content now book is content so night of the scorpion so here the poem begins by saying that uh, the poet still remembers the night when uh, his mother was stung by a scorpion and it was raining happily okay and uh, since it was raining happily that scorpion uh, went beneath the sack of rice okay the scorpion went beneath the sack of rice he hid himself and after that what he did was uh, since he already parted his poison to the mother the poison poisonous side was already uh, instilled in the mother so the scorpion he slowly he went outside the room okay and then he ran away okay and then immediately when the villagers came to know that the poet's mother was stung by the scorpion all of them they came like swarms of flies okay and then they all gathered there in her house and then they tried to search for the scorpion but the scorpion wasn't found since the scorpion had already gone outside the room after uh, after biting the mother now all the villagers they came with different kind of perceptions okay they were having candles and lanterns and then they were giving different perceptions like some of them said like may the sins of your previous birth be burned away tonight okay whatever you have done in your past the sins that you have done that will be that would be removed some of them have said that and some of, of um, some of them have said that your suffering will decrease okay some of them said that um, this will purify your flesh the poison that is uh, infused in your body that will purify your flesh okay, flesh these are the some kind of ideas or a kind of perceptions they kept in front of the poet's mother so here by looking at this you can analyze or you can identify you know what kind of persons were living there in rural india instead of taking her to the hospital they were focusing on their own superstitious okay they were uh, giving their own opinions that was kind of baseless because if we are or if sometime if you are bitten by a dog or maybe you are bitten by snake if a snake bites you then instead of going to the hospital you won't be staying at home right you have to go to the hospital immediately but here the thing is different the villagers were saying different things right and since her mother his mother was twisting and groaning okay she was in a very deep pain that she couldn't express and since uh, his father was skeptic rationalist he was putting all the mixtures of herbs and medicines okay he was mixing everything he was putting all the medicines on the mother's stove where the scorpion had bitten and then there was a uh, holy man or we can say traditional healer or we can say pandit Tharu, right so those uh, that holy man also performed his right he all he had also done his rituals to tame the poison to reduce the poison and at the same time his father also 
uh, his father has also infused a lot of um, uh, what we called uh, the medicines herbs on the mother's toe okay and after 20 hours it lost its stings so here it says nearly one day after nearly one day it lost its sting that the poison had gone now after 20 hours and my mother only said thank god to the scorpion picked on me and spared my children and then the mother said that thank you to the scorpion for picking up me rather than my children if my children had to suffer or if my children had to go through the way that i had gone they wouldn't be able to tolerate so the, the poet's mother says that thanking for picking her up instead of her children so it shows the universal love of a mother how much a lover uh, how much a mother loves their children it shows that so i would like to tell you all not to hurt your mothers not to hurt your parents okay since we also have to understand the sentiment of our mother okay uh, so this is what the Nisim Ezekiel was trying to give, okay? Uh, apparently, if we see, we don't live in such kind of society where we are very superstitious type, okay? Now, if we are bitten by snake or if um, dog bites us, then we automatically we go to the hospital first. So this uh, tradition has changed quite a lot now, but back then since... He was talking about his childhood days, okay, since the poet is talking about his childhood days and uh, maybe the kind of uh, systems that they had back then, maybe because of that, but it has changed to some extent. We are a little bit advanced now than this. So the poet tries to highlight the Indian society back then, okay, and whatever he had gone through in his childhood, he just recollected it. And with this, I'd like to wind up today's uh, poem. And if you really like my teaching, then please give a like and subscribe, okay? And you can give me uh, some ideas like in which topic am I supposed to make videos for you all. If you like my video, do like it and give comment, okay? Mm, so, thank you so much.